Alexander McQueen event is six months in the making, but there's still much to be done on show day. It takes a team from Italy, a crew from London, the staff of the Atelier, and a group of loyal friends to get this production ready. We're still waiting for six girls to arrive. There's still clothes arriving. A lot of girls have found it really hard to attend all their fittings. We need to do a rehearsal before the show because it's quite complicated. Everyone's got a lot of work to do because there's different hair for different um, sections, there's different makeup for different sections. The makeup is kind of like the setup of the show. It's um, it's uh, quite a complicated setup. It's inspired by chess chess game. It's not like a big makeup statement. It's just like getting each type of woman and enhance what she stands for physically. We've been making foundations all week just to get the right tone. It's sort of like almost like a childlike take on a chessboard with the hair a bit off, and hopefully it comes across quite romantic and and quite pretty as well. What I'm doing at the moment is the pawns. And as, you, as we work through the boards, we've got like a castle, a horse, a bishop. It's not your normal up and down, a runway kind of show. There's definite characters and there's definite precise brief on what kind of model he wants in for the show. You need a big character to wear his clothes. So we need we needed people with a personality. I'm gonna be the horse, somebody's gonna be the queen, you know, and we're gonna be playing that. So it's gonna be very active and very modern the show and it's gonna be structurized in a way that we're gonna need it to remember stuff. Which is at this time of the of the season is not so easy, but we're gonna to try to make it. <laughs> it's just the, a genius and he's always trying to get everything better than perfect, so you know, you kind of can't be sitting around doing nothing when it's the day of your show, you know? <laughs> because the guy is crazy. I wonder, like, sometimes what, what, how, how he gets inspired. But I don't know. I don't think I want to go that far. So the girls are going to be lined up um, as a chessboard. Mm -hmm. Um, it's um, a square with, divided in, squ in six squares on squ six squares, so it makes 36, 36 girls. As the 36 models began to take their places on the life-size chessboard, it became clear to the audience that what they were witnessing was more than just a fashion show. I thought actually that it was probably one of the most amazingly engineered shows. I thought the clothes were quite beautiful. I thought the workmanship was exquisite. Themes ranged from Edwardian schoolgirls inspired by Peter Weir's film, The Picnic at Hanging Rock, through Japanese kimonos and sci-fi bodysuits. I thought that some of the shapes were a little costumey, but that said, I felt like you could also take a lot of the pieces apart Pair them with a pair of jeans or a pair of khakis, just kind of tone them down a little bit, and there were some terrific ideas there. He's a genius, I mean, he obviously won the game of chess, he played chess as a child, all the lilac puffball pieces, the gathering, the tailoring, I just thought it was heavenly. And very childish and naive and sort of chic and romantic and very happy. I thought the 1930s carousel dress was really beautiful. He's totally hands-on. He's a craftsman. He's like a woodcutter or a carpenter. He's on every single little thing and that's why everything moves. There's no other designer in the world that can make clothes move like that. When the chessboard is full, the game kind of starts and one goes to another. The clothes were so beautiful, very romantic. I really loved it. 